was great going to the Mecca of boxing. Your name in lights and everywhere and pictures all over. And everybody wants to see you produce the goods on the night. Out goes the pitch on Kelly's first serious landing punch. He's not a great defensive fighter, but he's got a heck of a chin and he's got a lot of heart. His gloves touch the canvas, the count begins. The second knockdown for Kelly. He has terrible balance, and because he has terrible balance, every time he gets hit clean, he's going to go down. There's the power you were talking about, and Kelly is stunned. He does throw a good punch from crazy angles, which therefore have a better effect than if they were thrown from more orthodox angles. Leaping right hand by the Prince. He showed resiliency, he showed courage, he showed faith, confidence, and guts went under fire, no doubt about it. What we just saw was the Hagler Hearns of featherweight fighting. In all the books of boxing, he does things wrong, but he gets away with it. He almost didn't. But to do things wrong, you have to be pretty good at it. And he's not good enough at doing things wrong yet. Criticisms of Prince Nassim Hamed's exciting but flawed performance trailed him from Madison Square Garden across the Atlantic back home to England. I wanted to fight, you know, I wanted to rumble, you know. Uh, my boxing skills really went out the window because I just wanted to take Kevin out that much. I said to him, you've got to go back to the basics what you were doing before. And we have disagreements about this. But I know, because there's no shortcuts in life. And certainly not like it was when Naz first won the, the world title. It's changed. Um, you could argue that it's matured, or you could um, argue with some conviction that it's, um, it's, it's troubled. Up to Christmas, I had plenty of problems with him, because he's, he's developing, he's getting his own ideas, he's got fast amounts of money. The Prince's success in the ring has made him one of boxing's biggest stars. But with the celebrity lifestyle come conflicting priorities and royal distractions. He neglected his footwork. He neglected his dummies. But this has gone on for a few fights because all of a sudden he's physically matured. You know, so he's thinking, oh, I can walk through them. He's elected, he, he, he neg neglected what he's good is, is making the other fella miss. I want to throw my boxing skills out. That never, ever happens. But at that moment in time, you know, I just wanted to knock Kevin out. Naz possibly feels that he needs less attention from someone who, Brendan, who still believes Naz needs lots of attention. And I think they both have a point. Ahmed can in no way escape the internal friction and constant media scrutiny that come with being featherweight world champ. But returning to Sheffield, his lifelong haven, sometimes helps. You've got some kind of salvation in a little sort of quiet city like Sheffield where you can just relax and, and put things into perspective about your life and realise that, you know, it's, it, New York isn't... It's not all that in terms of knowing that there's somewhere where you can have a bit of peace and quiet. I'm just a normal kid on the street here, but I've got roots in the Arab world that I'll never forget and know where my parents are from. But uh, it's true, I could live anywhere in the world, but uh, to me, Sheffield is down to earth. It's, uh, it's a good place. It's a man's game, this game. So ironically, the 126-pound master of bravado seems comfortable dancing away from all the attention. Yeah. And Prince Nassim Ahmed says he won't give up his life as a commoner in one of the commonest, most working-class towns in England. The red comes to seven. People, when they get to a certain stage, accumulate so much money, they move camps, they go here, they go... I've never been to another gym in my life. I started here and I'll finish here, you know? So who is Naz? low-key but flamboyantly skilled local hero who fought out of character in a big fight, or that flashy but limited banger we saw against Kelly. Tonight, we may find out more.